Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This is a conglomerate store. This, that, and the other thing is the thrift store. They have the Old World Marketplace and Studio 203 is the other part where they actually do um, part and like painting and redoing of objects. Vintage table, the chairs aren't quite what would match it, but they work with it. Not a terrible price for what it is. And then they have this wicker little bookshelf. I think it was fairly well priced at 39. And beside it, you may have noticed, or behind this uh, mid-century table, there is a love seat. Also, not a terrible price for it. And there's the overview of the love seat. There's also a wicker coffee table in front of it. I didn't have an angle at which to get a good shot of the price tag. So this is um, this is a store that we've been to in the well before COVID. It has uh, it's a long narrow shop. It's got all these really interesting vintage items. Some of them are antiques. Some have been recrafted into other uh, into for another purpose. They have some explanation of uh, some of the more antique items. Uh, this is a Maytag ringer washer. A nice collection of all sorts of things. They've grouped all their photography stuff in one place. Uh, overall, the layout is really nicely done, not only in this portion, uh, but the other two sections which are conjoined to it. And this one actually has a coffee shop at the end. You'll see a glimpse of it as we get down there. Those are the stairs going downstairs. That's where their furniture is, primarily. There's some furniture up here, it's got, but they're all, all deck, they have items on them. I don't know what vinyl they may have may have desecrated there, but it's up there. I hope it's not glued on. 1970s flashback. And here we're touching on to the coffee shop area. It didn't have anybody sitting there at the time we were there. Um, I'm sure they would come and serve. There was enough uh, people um, in the in the store to potentially do that. An ironing board being used for two electronic typewriters. They're vintage already. In the 80s, they were new. Early 80s, they were new. So here we have uh, a couple of phones push button, some slightly newer than others. And uh, cobbler's irons. And 
foot lockers. A rotary wall phone in ivory. As I said, a uh, pretty good collection of stuff. Uh, prices weren't what I like to see for uh, reselling purposes, but they're still fair prices, and there are there are, will be some cases where you can still make, flip it for uh, a profit. But it's definitely a good place to go and visit to find uh, vintage items, uh, including furniture. They have a really decent amount of furniture to pick from the lower level it's interesting because of the way the old part of downtown Brand Brantford is the back of these stores is actually has a street at, and the and the back door actually had to go down from the back the lower level to get to the back door so it's not a climb up it's a climb down artwork even a vintage CRT. Some of these uh, look really good. Uh, here's a, an interesting one. We don't see much of these anymore. Telephone bench stool. The phone sat on the top, the phone book in the cubby below, and you could have a piece of paper and pencils in the drawer. That's what landlines did. They, they, you went to them, they didn't go with you. Something that uh, has, ha has gone by the wayside, for better or for worse. So there are uh, a number of things. If you're looking for something in particular, there's a good chance of you finding that. If you're not looking for anything particular, it's still an interesting wander through. There's some interesting, cool objects. Some artwork was down here as well. They're actually double deep and uh, fortunately the second level tends to be either tall or used at, in two levels. A little secretary type looking thing. Semi-circle tables, They're, they were quite common at one time. Dining tables, stools, that's a cool stool. Let's you move it around easily because it's got a tall back. It helps you stabilize yourself as well if you're using it. And we're about to head back up. And here we are on the main floor again into the middle store, which has got the the uh, artisan. They say they say they'll do parties of uh, crafting. So they end up repurposing uh, items that are in this portion of the store. Typically, I would guess that these are um, pieces of older glassware that are so mass-produced that there's literally an excess of them around and they don't have any intrinsic value beyond being a base for redoing something with them. They also look like they will do um, necklaces, bits of jewelry. I guess you determine what you would like to do and they'll figure out a, a process for everyone to be able to do them. There's some window displays for each of the storefronts. This part of this storefront does have some vintage looking glassware. First with a counter display, some of it's ceramics here. And then you have a wall display behind the counter. Plus they've got jewelry on top of this counter, costume jewelry. 
and a center display aisle. And so those two tables were primarily the for the crafting. Quite a, a nice display of uh, coffee cups. I was trying to see the underside I was not successful in identifying it its marks. Perhaps I could have opened the case, but I didn't want to. I wasn't that into the, uh, the, the matter. So here we are, we're in the first room behind the f storefront. They have some furniture and collectibles in, in here. Those are a collection of vintage Pyrex. We'll see them in a, in a short bit. And here we are, we're heading through this area and into the Oh, oh yes, the red flashed glass and plates and goblets. The, what appears to be more of a children's room. It's got games and younger folks magazines, dolls, a wheelchair for Barbie. And I thought this was kind of cute, this uh, strawberry hat. Not a bad price at five bucks, four, or six dollars, sorry. My apologies, six dollars. Sporting goods. And beyond that, we have all kinds of even younger children's stuff. And back, that was a glimpse into the coffee shop area. We're heading out back towards the mid, middle of this section this middle store where the link is to the store or to the last store of the three which is shown as a thrift store on the outside I think the the all the materials are mixed up these are the vintage Pyrex not a bad collection I've seen more extensive ones um, I remember one that we went to. It was a ex very, very extensive collection of Pyrex. Filled the whole house. And it was all for sale. That was in Quebec. Here I am. I'm looking, uh, thrifting through this clothes. And here, this looks like it could be a Hawaiian shirt. Guess what? It's Pennington's. That makes it a ladies wear. It's easier to find ladies wear that has that look than it is to find men's. I did find a contender, um, decided not to go with it. I think they wanted 12, which isn't an ex exceptionally high price, but it's a, on the higher end. I don't think it was an authentic uh, a Hawaiian either, but it was a nice looking shirt, I must say. I actually pulled it out and had to ask them how much they were because it didn't have a price when I initially had looked. They were good about it and they got me a price. Uh, these are primarily women's clothes and accessories and shoes and purses. They even have a small section of the Red Hat Society objects. Uh, they have the uh, poem that was written for it, uh, posted there. Sorry about this, I, it's a lot of the ceiling there, but it's, this is what happens sometimes when you get distracted, but when you're looking at stuff and your hand just moves different than what you expected it to do. So yes, there was quite a bit of women's clothes and accessories to be looked at, but then we saw some housewares and there's the street again. It has double doors, but they are closed off. You must enter from only the one entrance. 
small appliances. This is closer to what a thrift store has. They have uh, some of these uh, older a little uh, pieces of glassware, artwork. Wasn't sure if the screen was for sale or not. I somehow don't think it is for sale, but they had it standing there. All in all, they had some really, really interesting items. Between all the three stores, it's well worth the trip. Um, just to go into Brantford, it's not the only thrift store in town, but this is um, more than just a thrift store. It's got an antique store as well, so we've got some nicer stuff. They've got it's better curated than the a straight up thrift store is. If you don't like shopping for going through all kinds of stuff that may not be worthy of even having a first look at, this is how you can get around that. You may pay a little bit for that privilege to uh, not have to go through so much stuff that's not a, not to your interest. They have some sets of. Uh, of uh, ceramics and china tables with chairs and other pieces of furniture there is a lot to look at here if you're looking for women's clothes there's a, a fairly good selection here And then we get some of the other things there, the cost, more costume jewelry. These were some, some early, slightly more vintage style electronics. Getting all the way up to new, newer stuff. That's their work area there, and they have an area for books. Not huge. Books are fixed prices. VHS are fixed prices. They have some pretty good mirrors there. And then we have a uh, Dirty Minds, I hemmed and hawed, and then I finally looked in, and I wasn't impressed with the concept after all. So these uh, these are more of a thrifting thing from a, some hardware collection, and the business cards for the stores are here. The Cup of Joe is the coffee shop. It doesn't have a storefront sign. And I'm hoping you'll consider giving us a subscription, giving us a like, um, possibly consider putting on a bell so you're notified of the next uh, episode that's provided here. And with that, I'll say adieu. Thanks. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.